It sure feels like summer now. Hmm. A glass of ice-cold fruit juice would be the perfect thing to cool down with. Just saying. Um, speaking of which, we seem to keep missing out on the discount grape juice at Don Winery. Oh, Paimon has a hunch that today will be the day. If we leave right now, maybe we'll get there in time. Shall we get going? Hey guys, how is it going today? Uh, today I'm gonna get started on the Hidden Strife event. The Hidden Strife event. Um, because it looks like we're gonna go get some fruit juice or something. And, but of course, if we go here, we see this lovely new outfit for D Luke, which looks super awesome. Uh, so, of course, I brought D Luke here as well as Kazu and Kali, because I'm still enjoying Kazu and Kali. And then, of course, you need to bring Albedo with Kali. Okay, where am I actually going? <laughs> okay, okay, there's no, whoops. I was on, I was on the right track. Hi. Good day to you both. It's been quite a long time. You're looking well as ever. Thank you. Hi, Adeline. It has been a to while, hasn't it? To owe the honor today. Important business to discuss with Master Diluc, I presume? Well, not quite important business. That's right. Adeline, since we've run into you, maybe we could just get you to help us with this one. We always miss the winery's discount grape juice. So this time, we decided to come here early. Yeah. Can you reserve a bottle for us? We'll pay a deposit. Just name the price. Of course I can. And no deposit necessary. Well, that's nice. But Thanks. I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to yeah, make. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Every summer, Master D. Luke handpicks two barrels of the finest grapes to turn into juice. Yes. What? Why sell the good stuff at a low price? Because D. Luke doesn't like wine, so maybe he's trying to Master bring back the, his the juice industry to, guess, to compete with the wine industry. The discount could be a marketing technique. Special deals always I mean, attract customers. Yeah, that's typically how Perhaps discounts Master work. Master hopes to increase the popularity of fruit juice so that people have more options when it comes yeah, to drinking. Yeah, trying to have a competitor to the wine industry. For the heaviest drinkers <laughs> because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. Hmm. It still doesn't sound like the most profitable venture. Master D. Luke isn't all about money. I think he would prefer to see people That's drinking true. in moderation than chasing the profits. D. Luke just wants the best cost. for everybody. That's why he's the Imagine protective monster. Just enjoy he wants to use his wealth to make the world a better place, and maybe this is a subtle way of doing that. Others. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a miracle? <laughs> yeah. Master D. Luke's such a thoughtful guy. Yes. So, is D. Luke picking out this year's grapes right now? Not just yet. He has a few more issues to sort out first. He'll start the process as soon as those are out of the way. Okay. If you're interested, I'm sure Master D. Luke would be delighted to see you and hear your thoughts. What issues? As you know, whenever Master D. Luke catches wind of any unsavory guests showing up in Mondstadt, uh -huh. He takes it upon himself to go and <clears throat> greet them in person. I understand. It's the same story today. Okay. He should be somewhere near Falcon Coast. I'm not sure how long he'll be. In the meantime, would you like to take a seat inside? Nah. I have to stay here and wait for some other guests, but Hilly and Mako will be glad to take care we of you. We like wandering around, so... Unsavory guests? What is that supposed to mean? You know what it means, Paimon. I'm guessing it has something to do with Deluxe's part-time job. I'm sure Adeline Master knows or has an friend. idea, an idea of what's going on. If you're happy with, to help, that will be Luke. wonderful. <laughs> Master trusts you after all, and you're both very capable. I know he'd appreciate a helping hand. No biggie. Yep, the let's do it. He would never ask for help, but he would be happy. Happy if we showed up, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the Falcon Coast. Sounds good. Let's go, Paimon. Oh, just kidding. Dio came back. He's right here. All right, let's go over here.
Ooh, what do we have here? What do we have here? This is a campsite. Is, is that a camp over there? d -Luke is camping out in the wild? Well, how do we know it's d huh. camp? This is weird. Hmm. Maybe these enemies are really tough, and it's turned into a long, drawn-out battle. Maybe. Let's go check it out. Sure. What is that in the background? <laughs> that red, that red cloud of stuff. Camp. Yeah, that doesn't oh, look like Deluxe Camp. A piece of paper and a notebook over there. I'm Let's sure he's been that. here. <sighs> Dear Dark Knight Hero, we are seeing a repeat of the phenomenon we encountered many years ago. Although you have fully resolved the issue last time, the ley lines seem to have been stimulated in some way and are releasing the monsters they recorded once more. I'm sure you'll want to deal with those that pose the, big, the biggest threat immediately. So I'm notifying essential individuals per the operating procedures. Hmm. Judging by the tone, it seems like this was written by someone D. Luke knows well. Let's go Maybe from his like intelligence network or something. He saw something bad happen, wrote a note for Master D. Luke, and then left. Yeah. Huh. Is that <laughs> pretty irresponsible? Well, that happens Where's a lot in these games, Paimon. So. Also, he left his notebook behind. Mm. Now that Paimon thinks about Look at us, we were just leaving stuff messages on the wall on the when Venture and the Golden Apple Archipelago. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the red thing we see over in the corner there? Paimon, that's, that's the phenomenon he was talking about. Other than that, everything seems fine here. Not a monster in sight. Mm -hmm. Do you want to read d -Luke's friend's notebook, too? I mean, we it's shouldn't, not. but we Let's should, if you know what I mean. Like, we shouldn't read his notebook, but it might be useful for us to save the day. Phantom of the Past. We must get the abnormal ley line deposit. I, bet, I wonder, does this have anything to do with the lore of d -Luke in the manga? Which is, would be pretty cool if we're addressing stuff from like, Sumeru and from the manga. Like, like how we're going to be seeing Kale soon. Where did all these monsters come from? <gasps> uh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, hi, d -Luke. Luke. Huh. He looks kind of Yeah, your ponytail's you. higher than usual. Oh, look at him go. So focused and full of energy. So this is Captain, Captain Pyro. Pyro. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about Captain Pyro. It must be d -Luke from when he fought here in the past. Hey, you're right. Now that Paimon looks more closely, this d -Luke does look younger than usual. Mm -hmm. But what happened back then? This Why must be like one of those ley line here? memories. Hmm. Like when... I guess we can just ask Like in the Riding Shogun yeah. Second Story quest. Hmm. And other quests, I think, too. Uh, let's observe for now. Okay, let's see how young d -Luke used to fight. Yes. That's, you know what? They mentioned that this d, d -Luke costume... Oh, we're fighting... <laughs> Oh my gosh, he has the wolf's gravestone. He's, oh my gosh, he's so cool. They mentioned how he doesn't have his vision. But, so does this... We believe that he might have been using a delusion in the past. I wonder if that's what he's using in this outfit. Actually, wait, I think if you like look at his hand, is he like... Can I see? Oh wow, that's child d -Luke. Yeah, you see on his like hand? He has like a little red gem there. I wonder if that's like a delusion, but it doesn't look like a Fatui delusion. But it could be like an earth, like a different model. Oh. oh my gosh, he has different animations and stuff. That's so cool. Awesome. Dang, I like that outfit a lot. But it costs a lot of money. <laughs> Some things haven't changed. Yep. Um, so is there any actual danger here? It looks like it's only these illusions from the past. Yeah, d -Luke must have already been here. So d -Luke's already called it a day? Um, yeah. will more monsters come out if we go up to that weird ley line deposit again? And what about young d -Luke? Well... If it's like the other ley line deposits we've seen, then it should have disappeared now that all the monsters are defeated. So young d -Luke's piqued your interest? Or have you suddenly developed an interest in ley line anomalies? Well, it sounds like... Whichever one I pick, it'll, 
act as if Ether said them both, so. No, no. <laughs> Paimon's just a little worried, is all. Uh huh. What if someone passing by gets curious, comes to check it out, then suddenly, yeah, a monster jumps out and knocks <laughs> them over the head with a swish and a smash? That would be terrible. Crab, uh, why the sound effects? Because it sounds more dangerous that way. All right, fair enough. Anyway, we came here to help D Loop, didn't we? So yeah, where is present day D Loop? Before we head back. You've got a strong sense of responsibility. <laughs> Not really. Paimon just wants some fancy great <laughs> mm. Me too. Come on, let's finish what we came for. When we get the grape juice, you can have some of Paimon's half. Half and half? Sure. Uh... Is that it for the story? Maybe. Let's see. Re reward preview. Ooh, there's a lot of these. Not all of them are open yet. Okay. Primo gems. I right, let's do the challenge then. Actually, let's look at Deluxe's outfit first. First of all, this outfit looks awesome. It looks so cool. And there's this idol animation. It's fire points like that. Yeah. So he's not wearing his. Vision, but he still uses pyro, so I just assume it has something to do with the thing he's wearing on his left hand. Uh, go to quest. Oh, we don't get the ending for another two days. Okay, well, I guess I'll come back at the end in another two days. Um, so I guess the rest of this event is just fighting stuff. All right, complete perilous. Difficulty, quandary, this. Okay. Is dire straits the highest? Okay, well. Oh, that was cool. You know what? I thought they were gonna let us use the the use the new Diluc more. Otherwise, if it, after that, I, I, was, I was like, I didn't want to waste his elemental verse in the Abyss Mage, but now I know that was all we got to use of him. I wish I had used it so I could see how awesome his uh, new animation for his first days, because it's awesome. You see, it's like, it's like this black and red like bird like swirls down and then swirls up. But yeah, it's similar to his current first, but it looks different. So like, I wanted to see that, but that's okay. Damn you! My flame has been extinguished. Maybe I, I, I kind of zoned out there, so maybe I, I should have actually paid attention considering I picked up the hardest difficulty. Okay, my Klee is super strong. But she has like very little health or um, defense, so she would die very quick. <laughs> la, la, la. La, la, la. Uh, elemental burst used. All right, well, let's. What is? How many enemies do I need to fight? Also, maybe I should be carrying the zither around. Maybe I should like have something stronger. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, let me out of here. Okay. You're gonna die. <laughs> no, okay. After image what? After after what? Okay, so we don't actually know where our D Luke is right now. We just saw like a a, a, a memory of him. I guess... That's fine. Okay, when complete the challenge in 180 seconds. Like what what qualifies as having completed the challenge? So what am I looking at? I can't even see anything. Oh! What have you? Hello. I guess you, you must be the powerful opponent. Okay, maybe I need to like... Who do I revive out of my three dead characters right now? I think Klee would be ideal, except Klee's gonna die. So I better get the food pouch out. 
uh, that would get that. Also get uh, yeah, one of the ones that will heal over time. Play the long waiting game. Okay, cool. La, la, la. La, la, la. Come on, do the thing where you do like 50,000 damage on a charge attack, which happened before. Because I might need that to happen right now, or so we're gonna run out of time. Oh, the lag is not good right now. Okay. That was tough. That was tough. Wait, what is Dire Straits mode? And does it matter? Do I, do I really need four of those? I assume it has something to do with I need to be able to show off that my characters are really strong. That's what Dire Straits mode is. Okay, let's make sure they're alive. Oh, did you see how like, the red aura disappeared? That's cool. Hello, Dodoko! How are you today, Dodoko? Who doesn't love Dodoko? We must, we must protect Klee and Dodoko. Uh, dire Straits. Okay, so I have to, I have to beat this and I get Dire Straits. So I guess we're gonna do Dire Straits now. Moment of birth. Oh, these are really high level. Okay, my okay, my D Luke used to be way stronger until I gave all of his artifacts to Plea. And now he's not as strong as he was before. He's still pretty strong. But now my Klee is strong because I had like you see the artifacts? These are like these are like um like this one has 30% crit damage on the flower. It was like look at this. This was like so awesome. How all this crit damage that I got. It was insane. I gave but then so I get gave the set to Klee, and now Klee's super strong, but that means my D loop is not as strong as it used to be. There's so many robots. I guess that's, that's the challenge. But <laughs> how did you all get here? After image night, what? Oh, with the autumn whirlwind and this aura, I can't like see anything. So. Okay, this one has less time. Oh, I see. Less time. Time to do more work. Two powerful opponents in this one. Yes, that's why it's called Dire Straits mode. But that's also they're, they're, that's also why they give you so little rewards because they know that a large percentage of their player base is not going to be able to beat it. <laughs> oh well, we tried. All right, let's 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 heal up. The good thing, good thing, Windrise is just right there. Um, right there. Venti, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> we might run out of the Statue of the Seven if we're not careful. So I should ration. 
Let's do let's do desperate for all of these. Are we desperate for primo gems? Always. Of course, you only need to do perilous to get the primo gems, but but you you get what I'm saying. Melt and vaporize reaction. Okay, melt, 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 melting. Are we melting? It's melting. Good. Good. I'm just gonna three power from opponents. Oh, 47,000! See, this is what I mean. This is why I had to give Klee all the good artifacts. Uh oh! That scared me. <laughs> No fair! Also, wait, are these the powerful opponents? They don't seem that powerful. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. Or not. No, no, we're, we're good. We're good. That hurts! Well, that was much easier. That was much easier, but I think my team was um, ready for that. Yay! Okay, now we, now we can do dire straits, but I don't wanna. Oh no, whopper flowers! Electro. Wait, electro related. Okay, maybe. So, is there any electro enemies here? I need a swirl, or have I made a mistake not putting it up? Uh, you know what? How about I just show off um, my official instead? Yeah. Uh, in the name of the princess. In the name of the princess. Oh my gosh, I love her new outfit. All right, electro reactions. Yes. Go Oz. Oh my gosh, she's doing so much. Cloud time. The birds come. Burst forth. Witness my great undertaking. Oh, why did I bring up the with this? No. Okay. So you need to go. Goodbye. <laughs> Midnight Phantasmagoria! Wind Strider! Fallen leaves, adorn my night! Fallen leaves, adorn my night! <laughs> Kazuha's um, elemental burst lines are so like poetic. I think they actually because like, they're actually poetry lines. Awesome. Okay. More electro reactions, Oz. More electro reactions. Yeah, I'll help you. A swirl all over that thing. The birds call. Wings of darkness. Come, sever night from day. After imaged might. Okay. Oh, oh, might a trust. Oh, here's the Whopper flowers. I hate Whopper flowers. I have one minute to defeat all these Whopper flowers. At least it's two different types, so I can like, swirl them together like that. There you go. Okay, that, that hardly took any time. It's like one minute, and then it, she knows. It's raining and the flaming... I don't know, look how pretty all the maple leaves are! I need them more, because I've been running out of more trying to upgrade stuff. Okay, let me read up on what we what do we need for this. Swirl reactions. Swirl reactions, that is good. Hmm. 
I guess we can't see the conditions for that yet. Good thing it's raining, because that is actually good. Okay, swirl! Swirl! Wait, why is it no swirl reaction? Swirl reaction! Swirl. There you go. Swirl. More swirling! Let the wind lead! That's one with wind and cloud. Yes. Yes, all the swirl reactions. Yeah, I knew it used to do later. <laughs> More swirl. Have a little taste. Want to taste of my It's you. Moments of birth. The two E. will disappear. As one with wind and cloud. Coming to be. Witness my great undertaking. Oz, reveal thyself. You will be defeated by the bird. Yay! Well, that's great. It appears that's all to do for now. So, I will probably come back in two days, I guess three days, depending on uh, perspective. Yeah. This thing looks so cool, this like red ley line thing. That's awesome. Alright, we'll come back in a couple of days, we'll do more fights, and then we'll see what d -Luke was up to. We'll see if we see the Mirage d -Luke again, or if we see real d -Luke and we get to talk and learn more d -Luke lore, I guess. Um, maybe he tells us about the past. Um, because I think from what we know from the manga, uh, that is that the delusion that d -Luke used to use kind of has a similar power to the power Kale used to have before it was removed from her. So I think that's very interesting because we're going to learn more Diluc stuff right before we supposedly might get to meet Kale in the next update. So, yeah. Paimon's starting to wonder if we should have left the ley line to pass it alone. Maybe then the monsters would have stopped coming. Also, Paimon still doesn't have a clue what's going on here. <sighs> Shall we just go ask D Luke? Yeah, come on! Let's get back to the Don Winery! Well, it's been a few days now, so that means we're gonna get to be doing the end of the D Luke Hidden Strife event. I mean. I just got this, so I think I can actually just go continue the story now without having finished all the, the battles, but I'll finish. I'll, I'll finish the battles. You know what I feel like I want to do right now? Um, right now... How many? Two hours left? You know what? I, I never try to go more than one constellation for... for these characters. I'm gonna do one ten pull. Just one ten pull. Um, on Kazuha's island, the Kazuha, before I never see him on the banner ever again. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, look at this stuff. I gotta come explore this sometime once, once I get a break. Uh, what is his constellation? You know, Kazuha, uh, okay, this one is, uh, decreases Chiaya Buu's cool down by 10%. Oh, that's good. And Kazuha slash Rias, that's the cooldown. That's really good. This one's the good one. This is the good constellation. He gets animal infusion. I'm not gonna be able to get that in a, my lifetime ever. Yeah, no, I, I didn't think so. That never happens to me, except for the one time it did, where I got a five star look right away. All right, all right. That's fine. You know what? 
I didn't want a five star anyway. I don't. I cannot risk losing my my streak now of my. 50-50s. Alright, let's go finish Deluxe event. Actually, no. Let, let, we're gonna do it. I wanna quickly show off how strong my Kazu has been getting as I've been slowly building him more and more. Right? Whoa. So strong. He, he was doing more earlier. I, I need better artifacts. That's what I need. But for now, let's go do the rest of these battles, because that's fun. Uh, okay, I've picked out this team here. I want to show off my Barbara, uh, because I can. Uh, show begin. Come on. Let's, okay, let's, let's see how far we can make this, just doing only Barbara with the Ocean Hue Clam. Okay, this is actually taking kind of long, never mind. But you can see, I, I, I'm trying to build a support character. I think it's working out good. Actually, wait, no, I don't need to even have Barbara out. I, she, as long as her ring is out, I can still see the bubble that's exploding. Though, she's not doing as much damage because she's not in the field. Healing people, personally. Oh no, I don't like these Geo Samatros. Or the ice ones, either. No, because they do that. They refuse to get off of the tower. Wait, I should be using D-Luke for the D-Luke event. Come on. One with nature. Yeah, one with nature. Sorry, we're doing claymore attacks. Shoot, maybe I should have been paying attention to that. Well, good thing at least I had a claymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're almost there, though. Okay, cool. Now we can do the cool stuff. Whoa! Okay, that's a lot. Um, maybe I'll just deal with it normally. This. Time to go. That was the last one. Aha! Uh -huh. You're not gonna get away that easily. How dare you leave me? Autumn whirlwind. We must pay for this. Yay! Well, that turned out great, apparently. Uh, what is my reward? Primo gems! Make up for the primo gems I just spent. Um, which is good. Those also add up to my. Whatever my next five star is. is it? Normal attacks dealing damage. Well, that might be a little bit of a predicament considering that I assembled a team of people that don't primarily attack with their normal attack, except for D Luke. But even D Luke, he, I need to get his burst up. So he has, so he has like a pyro. As one with wind and cloud. But hold on, it's just so much more fun playing with Kazuha. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got the fire sword. Now we can do some normal attacks. Which used to do more when I ha he had the artifacts that Lee now has. But, but it's okay. We're, we're, we're slowly making our way up. Okay, let's, see. let's actually attack with normal attacks then. Yeah, here we go. Normal attacks dealing damage. Which is, you know what? No, that's completely fine. We'll just do Barbara. Because I'm now healing up my team. It's, it's working perfectly fine. That worked. <laughs> You guys again. 
same three as last time. Time to go. Time to go. Alright, one more. The other molten quadrant. What is it? Frozen triggered? Shoot. Maybe maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Hopefully we get some ice enemies. That could swirl the cryo. No? Please. I can't even abandon challenge because my controller won't let me. Maybe I should have I should read the instructions before I go into battle. Okay, this is literally not working. Hang on. Which cryo What? What do you mean teleport currently? I can't even exit out of this. How do I How do I even exit from this? Can I can I abandon the challenge? Yes, I can. Okay. You give me this again cuz I I like it. And also, okay. Which which cryo character? A pleasure to be working. Yay! Pleasure to be working with you. All right, this is gonna be much better now. Yay! Ayaka's great at making them. all the hydro slimes go frozen. Oh, I should have kept Barbara because that would have been. Man, I, I'm not. I'm not thinking. Thinking this through, am I? I should have kept Barbara and Ayaka instead of getting rid of Barbara. I should have got rid of Fischl instead. Oh my gosh, where? No, don't do this to me. Where did all the hydro slimes go? Oh, here, here we are. Oh, please. Uh, and then we gotta swirl the hydro as well, right? Yes? Right? Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. Hydro. Hydro, thank you, Kazuha! Oh my gosh, Kazuha saves the day again. Kazuha and Ayaka, you did it! Now you should face the slime. Perfect. Oh, what are we fighting? What's the big thing? Oh, that's the big thing. The wind knows Clouds hide. The birds call. The birds call. Uh, we can do this. We can do this. Stay Come focused. on. I'm staying focused. <laughs> Come on. That hurts. No, that did hurt. Look at all the stuff we got now. Let's see. We got more stuff here. And more stuff here. Yay. Maybe maybe I'll try one more Dire Straits mode at the end. Maybe. And what do we get? Ooh, lots of lots of battle pass points. Okay, now. 
now I feel like it is the right time for us to go check out the end of the store, even though it was unlocked before. So, are we gonna run into D Luke this time? He wasn't here. No, I need those crystal flies. All right, I'll go. I'll get them later. All right, let's go see if we can find D Luke. Maybe. He can ex no, leave me alone, Leanne. Uh, he can explain what's going on, right? Because I'm super curious about what's going on. Oh my gosh, I love the Down Winery's music. Oh, hello there, Adeline. You're finally back. I didn't think you'd be gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much. I know trouble. it took a whole week. I'm sorry. That's okay. We did offer to help. <sighs> Even if we hadn't gone to Falcon Coast, we probably would have been fighting monsters somewhere else. So anyway, is Master D Luke back yet? We didn't see him at Falcon no, Coast. No, we didn't see him the entire week. Sorry, I'm not sure of Master's whereabouts either. But I did hear that he recently visited Angel's chair. Oh. After dealing with this kind of trouble, Master is always careful to tie up all loose ends. It's become something of a routine. Mm -hmm. He should be back very soon. You needn't worry. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable in the winery. Okay. After all that, we managed to completely miss him. Unless he's avoiding us. No, D Luke wouldn't avoid oh, us. Oh well. Let's just wait for him at the winery this time. At least we got to see the D-Luke of the past. It was worth it for that experience. I agree. By the way, Adeline, how come you're always standing here at the door lately? Usually you're busy indoors. Hopefully you haven't been standing there waiting for Master D-Luke this whole time. Because that would be really tiring. Yeah, you need oh, to sleep? Thanks for your concern. But I've actually been instructed by Master to meet with some special guests here. Oh. Certain guests may need reminding to stay away for the time being. Oh. Master hopes that under the present circumstances, these guests will keep an appropriate distance from the winery. What? So it's not to make guests? the difficult situation even more complicated. Hmm. Uh, well, Paimon didn't understand any of that, but it sounds like a really important Yeah, job. it sounds like you're, you're guarding the place. Uh, maybe we could help meet those guests? That's very kind of you indeed. But you've already helped Master D. Luke out a great deal. You can let me take care of these time consuming Okay, but chores. I'm actually curious there now. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Uh... Is this a letter for Master D. Luke? Yes, it's from one of his informants. Only those in Master's inner circle are permitted to handle it or serve as custodian. Ooh, that means we're part of D Luke's inner circle. Oh my gosh, we're part of D Luke's of inner course. circle. Master D Luke greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. Mm hmm. Okay, find D Luke's desk. To the right. Okay. Oh yeah, there there are a lot of letters. Are we gonna read them? I mean, we shouldn't be reading his letters, but I mean, like, we're we're the traveler. We read a lot of things. It looks like D Luke read them just before he left. He must have been in a hurry. Hmm. Adeline asked us to put this one at the top of the pile, but how are we? Yeah, that doesn't look like much of a pile. Ones? Guess we'll have to read them to get an idea of when they came in. Well, we really shouldn't be reading other people's mail. Wait, let me think. Bad idea. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's just tidy them up a little. Yeah. You're here. You move fast. Woo! There he is. Hi, you're you're not at the angel what share. Are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But, uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. Yes, honest as ever, Paimon. <sighs> There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed well, your interest. Well, I mean, as long as we have your permission... These letters then... deal with events that are past and gone. 
I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. Okay, I'm sitting up. Tell me. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. Well, thanks. Yeah, I know it's not a bad thing to be curious. We just want to make sure we have your permission, that's all. Um, do you still have any other business to attend to? <sighs> you're, you're always busy. You seem to be in a huge rush, and you don't look like you just got back from the city. Hey, that's a good point! Actually, you kind of smell like wild mountain fruit. Oh, did you go to those mountains where the Valberries come from? Very perceptive. Yes, I did make a trip to the Stormbear yeah, Mountains. we are detectives. I'll fill you in later. Later? What do you mean later? No fear! We still have some super important things to discuss with D-Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> it's been a long time since D-Luke's presence last over awed you, huh? Nah, Paimon, you need to calm down. Uh, Alright, let's just sort these letters for him. Okay. Well, since he said he doesn't mind, why don't we read them as we go? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do some reading. Oh, we can read all of them. Okay, a tidily written letter. To the heir of the Roggenvinder clan. Okay. I apologize for sending this letter without notice. You may not remember me, but we've met a few times. We met near the square when I sat at the table adjacent to yours at the Good Hunter, and I've seen you in your tavern. You were always busy with a great many things, especially back when you were much chattier than you are now. You spoke cheerfully and often with your brother and friends there. It's no, probably no surprise that you did not notice me then, but I've always had my eye on you, child. I recall with crystal clarity how my little- Oh, this is Alice! How my little Clee once made a complete mess of your vineyard while she was trying to catch crystal flies there. But you didn't get angry. In fact, you personally squirted Clee back and even gave her a few bottles of fresh grape juice. Now that I think- Now I think that might jog your memory, yes? Clee recently told me that she hasn't seen that strange man with the red hair in ages! So I decided to look into it out of curiosity. My deepest condolences regarding your father. In many of the stories I've been told, you are the model knight, proud, driven, a knight of noble character and lineage. But I know that you're gentler than you appear. If you weren't, you wouldn't have treated Klee the way you did. And since you helped my child out, I hope you won't mind if I treat you as if you were my own. Therefore, I sincerely hope that you will leave the dark place that you are presently in, and that you will not wallow in grief and remorse. Partings are most painful things, but they also encourage us to grow. A bird that has lost the roof over its head will fly further than others of its kind. Go out and see the world. That's the best course of action I can envision. Only by feeling, observing, and listening can your heart be healed. Parents all wish that they can accompany their children forever, and the sky, seas, and stars bear witness to that oath. Everything that was your father now finds new life with you. That which you experience in this world may have been things that your father experienced once upon a time. I hope that the wind will bring you all manner of wondrous things in your journeys to come. In any case, keep your chin up, young child. About. What do you mean? Shall we read another one? It's pretty clear. Well, it's pretty clear that Alice wrote that one, and it seems pretty old. So I think this also further proves that since Alice is unaging, Klee is also unaging. <laughs> um, but yeah, it sounds like Alice encouraged you to go out and see the world, which is why you traveled a lot. That's very sweet. Um, a letter with clear handwriting. Um, Master. Master Kaya took leave and stayed at Dawn Winery for a few days. In a rare turn of events, he decided to stay in his original bedroom. He had paced about the grounds when Idol and even asked Adeline to make him his favorite dishes. Ah, it really does take me back. I shall be honest with you, but I was quite surprised to hear Master Kaya say that he wanted to stay for a few days. We did not refuse him, however. We believe that even if you were here, you would not refuse him outright. Dawn Winery has always been a more quiet location. Perhaps because all who stay here are rather peaceable people. The house is made by those who live in it, and Master Kaya's uncommon arrival did end up livening the place up significantly. I hope that you are doing well in your travels abroad. Everyone here at the winery misses you. May you remain safe and in good health. Do you want to keep reading them, or have you got the gist now? Okay. 
uh, we gotta... I'm hoping that they're all displayed in chronological order, and I want to read all the lore. Okay, so, okay, well, that one obviously came after Alice's one because he's already gone in his travels now. Dear Mr. D. Luke, it is my pleasure to investigate the ley lines alongside you. As you know, my focus is on alchemy, so I Alchemy. Albedo? So my knowledge of the ley lines remains quite shallow, and I fear that I will only be able to share what little understanding I have. That's probably not Albedo. Albedo knows everything. According to many pre-existing documents, the ley lines can be seen as a medium for storing information. Under certain circumstances, they can record activities that occur in the area around them. All this information goes through the recording and storage process. After a certain period of time, they may be released once again by the ley lines. If I may be so bold as to make a guess, there should be a method to activate the ley lines. Those who grasp such methods can control the times at which ley line information is recorded and released. Judging from the runic symbols and other clues, I surmise that there are particular members of the Abyss Order who may have a very small chance of being able to achieve this. If you believe that this requires further investigation, these entities may serve as your point of entry. I wrote a paper a few years ago in which I covered my brief foray into questions concerning the flow of ley lines and other such topics. You will find a copy of this paper enclosed. I hope that it can be help to clear up some of your doubts. You mean I'm all set? All right, then. I don't get to read the rest of them? There's one thing we can take away from these. It's that Master D. Uh, you can't let me. You could have let me read the other two if I wanted to, really. Whatever. All right. Well, those three are red. They all seem to be in chronological order anyway. So. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Lavonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. Yeah. Always fighting alone because, for one reason or another. It wasn't convenient for the people around Look, look how neatly we sorted them. But Diluc seems to have found some peace since then. Yeah, that's true. He met us. But he's got us now. We can give him all yeah. the help he can Yeah, and he met Venti as well, and we oh, saved the world. Of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. Yeah, Paimon, the power of friendship, not just the grape juice. Are you wearing the outfit now? Wait, what? <sighs> what? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Hi. Is there a problem? Yeah, you, you decide to dress differently for some reason. Uh, that's, I'm uh, sorry, that's not a problem at all. Master G. Luke, you're wearing your old outfit again? And you've tied your hair back. You look so formal all of a sudden. Old outfit? You've seen it before? Yeah, long story. It was by that Leyline Anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind mm -hmm. telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? The same reason as ever. Just stopping another Abyss Order plot. They right? launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. Yeah, that's right. We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast, and everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. Why didn't you stay there to keep guard? For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters, and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand... If I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the Knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people That's to spare. That's true. When were we ever going to hear the about the expedition that Varka tactic. took everybody on? The Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely. While the knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. Yeah, but anyway, smart. I have no interest in talking to the knights of Favonius. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself rather than waste time negotiating with them. Right. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. 
Take a few Abyss Mages hostage, and they soon start talking. Right. As because for the you torture of them, honestly. But at the same I time, I can't believe they, they, they you get this much information out of them. Where it's needed. Um... It almost sounds like you're doing the Knights of Favonius a favor. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like mm -hmm. working closely with the Knights right. of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Wow. Seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, P. Luke. Yeah. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Grape juice? Grape juice? The packaging is so fancy. It must be really expensive. This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so Whoa. I brought you a bottle to try. Thanks. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. Whoa. It's on the house. Thanks, D-Luke. That's awesome. Pyman's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery. Um, maybe this don't one bottle must be worth at do least, like, that. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Master D-Luke. <laughs> if you're free tonight, you're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Things that involve fighting? Yes. Passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, Everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Oh? Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Um, we're gonna help d -Luke out. What do you mean it's not the Abyss Order? Right, sure. After all, he did just give us this amazing grape oh, juice. Oh yeah, we helped him for Wait, the grape juice. no. Uh, what was it? After all... Even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. Yeah. <sighs> well said. In that case, let's get going. Let's get going. Okey -dokey, Captain Pyro. You can take it away. Oh my gosh, do we get to try using D Luke again? Come on, let's go. This is the final battle. Then we can put all this trouble behind us. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh! Wait, we got... Do we get to keep that? Uh, wait, 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 The, 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 the... Not this. Ah! A gift from D. Luke. A bottle of grape juice with luxury packaging. It is something Paimon has been looking forward to, but more so a memento of the time when you and your friends handled the crisis together. It is also D. Luke's personal favorite, produced using only Don Winery's best quality grapes. Being Master D. Luke's favorite grape juice seems to have is inestimable commercial value. <laughs> Fair enough. Really bring the... You should really bring the Knights of Avonius with you. Well, no, we're gonna bring you instead. Uh, what are we doing? <gasps> Whoa! Fight alongside D. Luke. You bet I will. This time I'm gonna try out his elemental burst because I can. They waste to the wicked. They waste to the wicked. When you got this, D. Luke. Uh oh, it's lagging. Look how cool his animations are. They're kind of like red and black. They're like, it's like so sharp. It's like, like blades of flame raining down. Dodge, break forth. Whoa, that was awesome. There, it's done. 
The ley line deposit will disappear before long. That battle went very smoothly, but it was also a lot of fun. Oh, thanks to the power of teamwork. Yeah, the power of friendship. See, even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master Diluc saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Yeah. Sidekicks. Hmm. Uh -huh. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. Yeah. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. Uh-huh. Yay! <laughs> so, okay, so he didn't explain... The fact that he's not wearing his vision, but that's okay. I think we can, we can make some guesses. And that was fun. And we got we got a grape juice bottle now. Awesome. All right, let's let's try doing. I know it's not gonna go well for me, but let's try doing one dire straits mode. Oh shoot! Right, this is the frozen one. Okay, maybe I, I should have thought this through once again. Oops. I mean, my team's pretty strong, but I don't know... I don't know if I have what it takes. Good thing, though, Kaza is doing a good job swirling the, the, the Hydro around. Which is really helpful, considering I once again didn't bring Barbara. But we're gonna need some Hydro Slimes to appear again. I see. I see what I'm searching for. Water! Yay! Okay, what if we actually... Okay, what if we actually manage to do this though? That would be insane if you ask me. Oh, there's four powerful opponents? Okay, maybe this is... I, I actually, you know what? I really did believe there for a second that we had a chance. Um, how naive of me. And there's only two of them here, so I can't even take like all four out at a time and pick these ones out first. Many no! Regrets. So many regrets! Okay, I'm regretting this. Um, no! One shall descend once again. Okay, at least can my team live. That would be nice. Much remains Come on, Diluc! You can do it! Uh oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I think that's the perfect way to end off the episode. That was a lot of fun. It was cool to do the fighting. It was cool to learn more with D-Loop and get to try out his new outfit. Oh my gosh. That's, that was great. Alright, that's about all for this episode. Yeah. I'll see you in the next- actually, hang on. I was gonna say I'll see you in the next one, but I kind of just want to do one more. I'm gonna regret this though. Yeah, I will. It's okay, this is just all adding to my pity for the next one. Come on, I already have C6 Toma now. Can I have another Hazel? Another Hazel? Please? All right, it's, it's sacrificial, sword. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, that's literally all. Okay, I'll see you all next time.